going on guys welcome back to the channel or oh, welcome to your first time here well have you heard that valimir Zelensky, you know the actor the u.s puppet in ukraine the cocaine snorting peter puffing valimir Zelensky, he's dissatisfied with the aid he's gotten from the united states and nato despite the fact that he's already received billions upon billions of dollars in weapons aid tactical and logistical support from the United States and NATO. This article here from the Western, or the Washington Examiner, sorry guys, can't see. Zelensky blames Western aid delays for giving Russia time to fortify. Western hesitance to provide Ukraine with heavy weaponry and training provided Russia with more time than they needed to fortify their lines, according to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Look what a little twerp. I mean, does this guy look like he has been in a war? Does he look like he is suffering? I mean, look at him. The same sweater or shirt that he's wore and everything I've seen him in. Every photograph, every video has been the same green shirt. It's all an act. He's putting on the act to embezzle money through Ukraine and back to you know a lot of the corrupt politicians in Washington and around the world. Anyway... It says, look, these are still relatively early days. Relatively early days. And this article was written in July 22nd, 2023, as you can see right here. And this is Anthony Blinking speaking. Look, these are still relatively early days. How long did they expect this to last? Years? They're going to keep it going for as long as they possibly can. Because they're trying to invoke nuclear strikes from Russia. We have said from the start... We've known from the start that this would be hard going. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said early, earlier Friday, the Russians have laid significant and serious defenses when it comes to mines intentionally. The Ukrainians, it's called war. The Ukrainians are working their way through that. I believe they have what they need to be very successful. Uh, I don't. You're hearing propaganda from the Washington Examiner. They're going to give you their story. Ukraine is doing good. Ukraine is winning. Blah, 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 blah. Whereas everything I've read, everything I've seen from in the alternative media and from people like Scott Ritter that is in Russia that knows what's going on more than the Washington Examiner would be reporting because they have their motives to... If they tell you that Ukraine is losing, that if they give you the death numbers... You know, we heard during the COVID pandemic... Every 15 minutes, they was on the television, on the radio, everywhere. So many thousand cases, so many positive tests, so many deaths, so many on the ventilators, blah, 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 constantly. Why aren't they doing this with the deaths in Ukraine? Why aren't they reporting every time somebody dies in Ukraine, adding a number up and reporting every 15 minutes on the media? Why aren't, why aren't they reporting every dollar that goes to Ukraine, every weapon that goes to Ukraine? Why are we hearing that over and over and over again? Because that doesn't fit the agenda. They want you to think that Ukraine is doing good, Ukraine is going to beat Russia, and they want to keep that narrative to try to keep support for this war in Ukraine. It is... We're not being told what's actually going on here. But anyway, it's really ticks me off that this little bastard right here has the little nuts... Enough <laughs> to come out and say that he's not getting enough assistance, weapons from the United States and NATO. And you look over here at this uh, Council on Foreign Relations. That's one of the globalist organizations. How much aid has the U.S. sent Ukraine? And I'm sure that is at least double what they're saying here. I have no way of proving that, but in my opinion, it probably is. It says, uh, every year the United States sends billions of dollars in aid. Spends. Every year the United States sends billions of dollars in aid and much more than any other country to beneficiaries around the world in pursuit of its security, economic, and humanitarian interest heading into 2022 u.s foreign assistance was driven by various 
priorities of the Biden administration, including combating climate change. That means money going to the globalist UN, responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, and countering authoritarianism. We're fighting for freedom around the world, giving billions of dollars to fight for freedom around the world. Uh, yeah, sure we are. But since Russia's invasion in February of that year, Ukraine has become far and away the top recipient of U.S. foreign aid. It's the first time that a European country has held the top spot since Harry S. Truman's administration directed vast sums into rebuilding the continent through the Marshall Plan after World War II. Since the war began, the Biden administration, or the Biden regime, I should say, but anyway, and the U.S. Congress have directed more than $75 billion in assistance to Ukraine, which includes humanitarian, financial, and military support, according to the Kyiv Institute for World Economy, the World Economy. A German research institute, the historic sums are helping to broad, help any broad set of Ukrainian people and institutions, including refugees, law enforcement, and independent radio broadcasts, though most of the aid has been militarily related. Dozens of other countries, including most members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and European Union, are also providing large aid packages to Ukraine. And this is the United States. They're saying $75 billion. I would say it's been at least twice that if you can all the cash, all the assistance, uh, all the support, all the weapons they've been sent. I would say it's at least double $75 billion. I would say it's around probably $150, $200 billion, if not more. And this little prick has the gall to say they ain't, they're not doing enough, not getting enough. He has robbed the world, the Western world, the United States, NATO countries, and the people in those countries. He is his take, take, take. And this money that he's getting, this aid he's getting from us here in the United States, is not from the government. It is from the U.S. taxpayer. They are hyperinflating the dollar, and a lot of it's because of this right here and other projects coming out of the Biden regime. I think that uh, in the last, just the last couple of months, the national debt has risen like a trillion dollars. I mean, they're spending like mad. Just They're going crazy. Spend, spend, spend. No limits whatsoever, and... They have no debt ceiling. They can just print and spend as much as they want, and that's what they're doing. They are spending trillions, going, putting trillions of dollars into the system, and we will fill that through hyperinflation. And do you think this little prick right here cares about the United States? Do you think that he cares about us? Do you think he cares about your children? your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters. Do you think he gives a flying damn what happens to the United States of America or anybody here? Do you think that this little prick would walk across the road to help an American unless he's going to get something out of it? He don't care about us, but he wants more, 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 more. I will be honest when I see this guy right here, he makes me as sick as actually looking at Joe Biden. That's how sick this little prick right here makes me just to look at him and to hear him talk. It's just disgusting in my opinion. The things the United States does, and this whole thing is about destroying Russia. That's what it is. They want to divide Russia up into different sections. I forgot how many it was now, like 30 different little sections, states, so they can control Russia better and steal the resources. That's what it boils down to, guys. Now, I'm not, you know, a fan of Russia. I'm not a fan of any government whatsoever. Government, to me, is something that we don't need. Governments, when they start, their whole purpose is to grow bigger and bigger and bigger, take more and more power, more and more wealth, and own more and more, and to put everyone into enslavement. I don't care what government it is. It's the United States government. That's what they're doing here now it's got and they're getting worse and worse all the time every government does this we need very little government in any country 
if any, to be honest about it. The federal government was supposed to provide national defense, and that was pretty much it. Everything else was supposed to go towards the, to the states and the Congress, but the Congress gave their power to the executive branch. That's why we see the president of the United States pretty much having dictatorial powers through executive orders. United States isn't what it used to be. It's not the free country that everyone still thinks that it is. People are still living a delusion. The United States, sadly, is corrupt to the core. And we're seeing this through Zelensky and what's happening here with all the aid going in and coming back out. There's being laundered through and back into the corrupt officials in Washington and NATO. It's... Mm. And he actually, they put him in power. He's been given billions. He's been made very, very wealthy over this. And he's still wanting more and demanding more. Bitching and whining and moaning wanting more. Anyway, I know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this guy? If you like Zelensky, let me know in the comments below. If you don't, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And the more matter, and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.